If you've clicked on this video, chances are you are thinking about getting your real estate license this year and you're curious about the steps that you can take to achieve this. So in this video, I am going to be giving you some clear directions on how you are able to do so. Let's get to it. My name is Camille Washington. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in North Carolina, specifically located in Charlotte, North Carolina. On my channel, I focus on all things real estate, entrepreneurship, mom life, and family. If you love that sort of content, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated when I post new videos. The first question is, what are the requirements to get your license? There are just a few basic requirements to get your real estate license. Number one, you do have to be 18 years old, at least in the state of North Carolina, and I'm pretty sure most states you do have to be 18 years old number two you do have to be a u.s citizen or have some type of citizenship that allows you to practice real estate number three you must take a pre-licensing class and number four you must pass the state test as well as a national exam to acquire your real estate license so there's just four things you need to do as a recap one be 18 years old two citizenship three pre-licensing course, and four pass the state and national exam. Moving right along to the second question, do you need any prerequisites or former education to get your real estate license? The good news is you actually do not have to have any sort of bachelor's degree, college degree, or even an associate's degree to get your real estate license. However, you must take the pre-licensing course for real estate in your specific state and once you pass that pre-licensing course, that will sort of start your career journey as being a licensed real estate professional. So to recap, you do not need any former education, no college degrees or anything like that. Real estate is actually one of the few things that you can do to make a lot of money without having a lot of education to support it, but you actually will need to take one course and that is the pre-licensing course. And we'll dive into that course a little bit later in this video. So how can you apply for a real estate license? So after you have actually passed your pre-licensing course, you'll also want to pass the state and national board exam. And then once you do that, you can actually apply for a real estate license in your state. So you have two courses to pass. One is gonna be that pre-licensing course. Number two is gonna be the state and national exam. And then you actually will have to complete an application, pay an application fee, and then that is when they're going to do a background check for a character review. Once your application gets approved, then you will be unofficially a real estate agent. So how long does it take to get your real estate license? Surprisingly, it's not as long as you think. This is not a situation to where you're in school for four years or two years or really even a semester long. Currently, there are so many different classes. Um, you have virtual classes. You also have in-person classes. In my state, I'm in the state of North Carolina, you need a total of 75 credit hours. And what that means is essentially 75 hours of instructional learning. So your state may be different, but it typically does not take very long. For myself, it took me about a month and a half. The class was a month and a half. I would say I was up and running within three months. So it also is going to depend on your class structure. There are some classes that may meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You have other classes that are self-paced. I believe Kaplan offers a self-paced class. And then you have other classes as to where you meet on the weekends for a certain number of weeks until those instructional hours are met. So it could vary, but you could very well have your license, I say within two months, depending on the pace that your class goes or the pace that you go when it's a self-paced class. So what is the process for taking the real estate exam? So for your pre-licensing course, um, usually it will be either in class or a virtual exam to which you do have to pass your pre-licensing course exam and they will actually submit your scores to the licensing board in your state. From there, the state board and national board exam, you will have to pass that as well. And this is usually a proctor exam. It's very similar to the ACT or SAT, if you have ever took either one of those. It's very similar to that. When I took mine, it was all on a computer a program where 
It was only the test that was allowed. We were able to bring in a very simple calculator, not a complex calculator, but like a calculator from Dollar Tree. And then they did provide us with, I believe, a clean computer sheet. I can't remember if they provided us with a pencil or not, um, but that was pretty much all that we were allowed to have in the test room. And then there was also a proctor, I believe you call it a proctor, there to monitor everyone, making sure there wasn't any cheating that was going on. So how much does it really cost to get your real estate license? <sighs> Y'all, in all, I would plan to save about... I would plan to have about $750 saved to get your real estate license because it varies state to state. Some states may be higher, so maybe $750 to $1,000 because you will have to pay for your real estate book which may be you know 50 60 dollars sometimes you can get a used one from someone else within your area the other thing you're going to have to pay for is your pre-licensing class which is the most expensive part of it all and pre-licensing class can range anywhere from like 425 dollars to 500 dollars there's also classes that you're able to take dependent on the firm where they basically offer you the opportunity to take the pre-licensing course at no charge to you but you have to know which firms those are our firm does offer this um, but there are a few other firms that i have heard of that actually will sponsor new agents to help alleviate that cost but that tends to be a large chunk of what is required monetarily when you first get started as being a real estate agent so you have the book, you have the course, you'll have to pay for a background check, which is about $75, give or take. You'll pay for the application in order for your state to process your application, which may be another $50 to $100, and the exam, the National and State Board exam, which will be about $100 or so. So definitely take a look at this for your state specifically to find out what those costs may be. In order to find this information out, you can go type in pre-licensing schools in my area, reach out to them, and they may be a good resource for you to find out what the total cost is in your area. Because I know there's, I believe upstate, there's one state where like becoming a real estate agent is so expensive. I think it's their association dues though. I don't think it's the actual process of becoming an agent, but yeah. So is there any ongoing education requirements to renew your license every year? Yes, yes, and yes. Real estate agents do have what is called continuing education as well as general education that we must do every single year to maintain an active license. So in my state, in the state of North Carolina, we must do four hours of continuing education as well as four hours of general education in order to remain active as a real estate agent. So your state may be different, you may have more or less, but generally speaking, we do have to have continuing education every single year to maintain our license. And that's basically to keep up with the trends and just continue to develop our knowledge as being licensed professionals in this industry. Next question, do I need to be sponsored by a real estate brokerage to obtain my license? And the, <laughs> the short answer to that question is no, you do not have to be sponsored to obtain your license. However, in my state, in the state of North Carolina, you must join a firm to start practicing because in my state, we are what is called uh, provisional brokers where we do require supervision from a broker in charge, which is basically like a manager. They're gonna be looking at all of your transactions to make sure that you are abiding by the laws, rules, regulations of being a real estate agent. So in my state, in order to practice, once you actually first get your license, you do need to join a firm. However, the process of going through to get your license, um, generally you do not have to join a firm right up front. You can actually go through the pre-licensing process Take your state board, national board, all of that prior to joining a firm that's actually required in my state. I'm not sure about other states, but um, you do not have to have a firm sponsor you from right out the gate. You can actually go through the process of getting your license. But once you do have your license, generally speaking, you will have to join a firm right after you obtain your license if you want to practice real estate and engage in any sort of real estate agent activities. So how do you find a reputable brokerage after you get your license? 
uh, the main tips that I would have for you guys on this is to number one look at their online reviews Google is going to be your best friend number two if you know of any agents that are currently in the business I would ask them of their personal experience of being with that specific brokerage number three you can join different Facebook groups and ask for recommendations there but the best thing for you to do also is just interview with a few different brokerages try not to go with the first or second brokerage that you interview you do want to interview with a few brokerages and I would recommend interviewing with a large brokerage interview with a smaller mom and pop brokerage maybe even interview with a team at a brokerage just so you can sort of see the different offerings that each brokerage has so last but not least is what are some common challenges that new realtors have and how can you overcome them I think that the main challenges that new real estate agents have is where do I start? Because when you get your license, you're like, I achieved this big major goal, but now I don't know what to do. So where do I start? Also creating a healthy schedule and being disciplined because a lot of new real estate agents just think that once they get their license, people are going to just trust them and gravitate to them and like reach out to them and ask them for business. But it's not like that. You literally have to schedule discipline and consistency in your schedule and really work hard to obtain business. So I, I do think that those two things, the where do I start and having a disciplined and consistent schedule are two things that new real estate agents do have to sort of work a little bit harder to overcome. It's just creating those healthy habits. If you found this video to be helpful, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated of when I post the next video. Again, I do post videos on real estate life, real estate blogs, entrepreneurship, mom and family life. So if you love that sort of content, then stay with me for the ride and enjoy being a part of the Cam Fam, okay? If you have any questions and you're thinking about getting into the real estate industry, do not hesitate to leave a comment below with any of your questions and I will be sure to respond. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.